Hello again and welcome to This Week in Campbell Football. With head coach Mike Mentor, I'm Chris Haymeyer, and as always, we're powered by our friends at Dunn Benson Ford. Coach, your camels go to 2-0 and on top of the Pioneer Football League after a dominating 38 to nothing shutout victory over Moorhead State. Well, the guys came out really prepared to play a great game, Chris, and, and um, you know, you got to tip your hat off to these guys because they put in the work all week long. We talk about our cornerstones every single day, industriousness and enthusiasm. You have to bring it. And and then on game day, we talk about poise and confidence. That's, uh, you know, poise, just be yourself. And confident, um, you, you've already put in the work, so let's go have some fun. And um, them guys did that. Um, I thought the first quarter was kind of filling each other out, which normally is what happened in a football game. And, and then from that point on, we started to impose our will offensively and defensively and special teams wise um, on this football game. And so um, some, some great performances um, by a lot of different people. I thought the offensive line really, really did a great job of um, you know setting the tone. I thought uh, Ray Miller on defense set the tone with that first blitz and hit the quarterback and, and that kind of got the defense going and and, uh, and everybody just really just did their job. You know, it was in the, in the right spots. Um, and if the play came their way, they made it. And that's really what football is all about. Um, it's, it's just individual one-on-one -on -one matchups. My why has to be bigger than your why. And um, everybody wants to get to a certain point on the football field. And whoever has the strongest will is going to get to that point. And, and that's really what it's about. It's not about X's and O's. It's just about let me get to my point more than um, you want to get to yours. And, and them guys did that for 60 minutes. It was another sellout crowd, a beautiful day for football, one of the top five crowds in Barker Lane Stadium history. And coach, a record setting day rushing, and it starts here with Josh Jones. Josh Jones is a guy that can really move sideways and make people miss. So great job of him finding the hole. And then your quarterback doing what he does. <laughs> Daniel Smith, the guy that everybody had to account for in the running game. 157-plus um, yards, just a great day by him. After a scoreless first quarter, the rushing game starting to tear up Moorhead State. Well, there you go. Montel Goods, what we call him, the touchdown maker, doing it again. Great job, great run, way to make it um, count in the red zone. And then your defense, Dante Simmons <laughs> with another pick. Dante with his fourth pick of the year. Great job by him of reading the play and making the play. It sets up a Mitch Brown field goal and then the offense back to it. What a catch. Will Howard really came into his own. Strong day by Will Howard. Blocking and catching. Great hands right there. Way to use that 6-4 frame and then beating the guy on a post route right after that. Um, to score a touchdown his first one of the season. Great job. And then back to the ground. Coach, the numbers are staggering. 460 yards rushing. Unbelievable. And, and Montel Goods with the second best rushing game of any camel ever. A great job by him again. And Carlos Merritt right here with another pick. His fourth of the season. Hey, next time, kneel down, Carlos. You can't run that fast. Well, last time he took one back to the house. You can understand why he's doing that. And then we talk about the running game, but then that opened up the passing game. Incredible throw, incredible catch. Yes, great body control by Will Howard on that one. Beat the guy on a slant last time, but this time we're going to beat you on a um, back shoulder fade and be able to track the football when a defender is all over you and keep your feet in bounds. Great play. 589 yards of total offense. Oh, by the way, you're – defense with another shutout their second of the season. Yeah, great job, great effort. Coach Cox and the defensive staff, great job of getting them guys ready. And Alinga with his, what, six and a half, seven and a half, how many sacks he got. Just a great effort by the defense all day long. He is in the top five in the entire country. And then you guys ice it in the end. It's pretty nice to have a pretty good running game, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. That's what football is about, is in the trenches, being able to run the football when you have to run the football. Again, Montel Goods, Daniel Smith, Josh Jones, the offensive line, really helped us out in that, in that area of the game. The first time in Campbell history that three rushers have gone for 100 yards in a game. Campbell 
with the 38 nothing shutout victory. As you know, Coach, you celebrate for about 24 hours and then you get right back to it. A very much improved Valparaiso team comes into Bowie's Creek for another Pioneer Football League matchup this Saturday at 2. Oh, listen, Val, Valpo um, is, is a football team that is well coached. Um, I, I, I was just very impressed with Coach when he first got into the league, when he got the head coaching job, and, and he's impressed me every single year. Um, Valparaiso began to get better and better and better. Um, th this, this, this team um, offensively is an offense that's going to um, try to beat you with smoke and mirrors, I call it. And so you have to be very disciplined at what you do. Um, a lot of bootlegs, um, a lot of moving the pocket for the quarterback. Um, they will stretch you vertically. They do, they're going to try to beat you on jump balls. And so our, our, our cornerbacks and our DBs has, have to be ready to win those 50-50 matchups because they're going to they're gonna put you in those positions to have to make plays time in and time out. Um, our defensive line has to put pressure on this quarterback. We have to get him off his point. We can't let him feel comfortable back there. He's big guy, you know, 6'5". Um, and so, you know, it's, it's going to be a long day um, and a hard day for us to put pressure on this guy because he's so tall. He can sit in that pocket and see over everybody and still deliver the football to where he needs to deliver it. Um, when you look at their defense, their defense is a, a 30 front, a 40 front, they moving back and forth. Um, so you're not going to be able, to, as far as our offensive line is concerned, not going to be able to set and see one type of line the whole game. They're going to see different fronts. And so they're going to have to be patient. They're going to have to know who they have. And um, once we identify what front they in, then we got to be able to execute. And we got to do all that in two seconds. And so, you know, it's going to be really, really tough um, on our football team because this team, um, as you looked at the first game, Montana, um, went down to Montana. Um, I should say went over to Montana and, and, and really had a great game against them. And for three quarters was, was really making it interesting. And Montana started to take over at the end because of their depth. They are scholarship football team. You start to see that in the fourth quarter. Uh, but Valpo is a team um, that we got to be prepared for, we got to be ready for, um, because they're going to come in with a lot of confidence um, in their passing game. And I think they're going to have a lot of confidence with their defense. And so um, it's going to be a special day. Uh, folks, counting this weekend, only three more home games left at Barker Lane Stadium. And coach, I know you never take it for granted. And it's becoming a thing. <laughs> sellout after sellout after sellout. There were over 6,000 in the stands to see you last weekend. So, so Chris, where, where do you think we got that from? Nebraska, right? I mean, we got over like 700 sellouts, and now we're trying to do the same thing here at Campbell, and that's what I love about um, Campbell University and Harnett County, um, Harnett County surrounding areas. These guys really want to come and really want to um, celebrate with us on the football field. That's what it's all about. And, and we, no, we do not take it for granted. We love it. And let's start the Nebraska Campbell sellout on the FCS level. So that's the challenge, fans. If we're going to do this every single week, and let's become that, that type of fan base here at Campbell University. We're looking forward to another packed house. Thank you, fans. You see how excited he gets. The only thing that gets him more excited um, than when he talks about his team is about talking about you, the fans. Thank you. We'll see you this Saturday at 2 o'clock. If you can't make it out, we'll have complete coverage for you, both video and audio. Links at GoCamels.com. And if we don't see you at the game this week, we'll talk to you next week on This Week in Campbell Football.